In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform peak fitting with fixed peak parameters. Let's say that you have many data sets with a fixed number of peaks, where the centers do not vary from one data set to the next. What you are interested in is other parameters such as height. Using the peak analyzer, let's run through the analysis once to perform the peak fitting with fixed peak parameters. We will then save these settings as a dialog theme to reuse with the other similar data sets. To open the Peak Analyzer, I select Analysis, Peaks and Baseline, Peak Analyzer. The first step is to set the goal as Fit Peaks. I'll then click Next to go to the Baseline Mode page. In this case, there is no baseline, so I set this option as None. And then click Next to continue on to find peaks. Since I'm going to be entering the peak center values, I'm going to uncheck the Auto Find checkbox. And then I can click the Peaks Info button, which will bring up a dialog where I can specify the number of peaks, as well as the center and height values. Press Enter and the Down key. When you are finished, click OK, and on the preview graph, you'll see markers at those XY locations. Let's click Next to continue on to the Fit Peaks page. We need to fix these center values, so I do that by clicking Fit Control, which then allows me to scroll through the parameter list and click on the Fixed checkbox. Now I can save myself a few clicks by right-clicking and say apply the same fixed status to all my XCs. Now as I scroll through, the XC3 is also checked, the, the Fixed checkbox. Now I'll click the Fit Until Converged button and click OK to return to the Peak Analyzer dialog. Before I click Finish, I want to save my settings, so I click the flyout arrow next to Dialog Theme and choose Save As. Enter in some theme, some name for my theme. I then can check uncheck what I want saved with the theme. I do want the fixed status and the value saved. That was what I entered manually, so that's the important part here. So we check that, and then we click OK. The dialog theme shows up here, and then we can click Finish to generate our report for this analysis. Now that we've saved our theme, we can reuse that. Let's go back to our data. I'm just going to run it on the same data, but you can imagine this being a new data set. We don't have to plot the data. Notice we see our theme listed here. By clicking it, it will run through and do the analysis without ever opening up the dialog, which is nice. We can switch to the report. So here was our input sheet and then these sheets were added as a result of the analysis. Here's some information here in the script window. We can just hide that window. Everything is contained within our report. And notice that we had fixed the centers, but left the height to vary as part of the fitting. In addition to the theme we've created, you could also save this book as an analysis template. All of those theme settings, all of those settings for the analysis, are saved as part of this book. If you go into Change Parameters, what you're going to see in here as you go through each page are all those same settings. So we could always come up here and save this book as an analysis template to reuse with similar data too, and then that would be very handy to go right down and do batch processing. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.